Hey, I'm Anthony Cost. I'm the artistic director of the Fire and Water Music Festival. It's in Lactabani, Manitoba, and it takes place on August long weekend. We always have a fun lineup. Um, so let's talk about the Manitoba Arts Network Showcase. I've been to it once last year, and I don't plan to miss any more. It's a terrific, terrific event. It's very uh, well run and organized. That whole group does a, a tremendous job. And I found out about it uh, from a friend in a neighboring community when I bumped into him on the street. Uh, and he's like, hey, you going to showcase? I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't know what that is. And after he explained the opportunity to check out bands that are presenting that want to be there and be on tour and, and meet people, uh, the workshops that take place, so many fantastic sessions. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. And then sort of the late night mixers or lunchtime things where you just get a chance to, to meet people. So those are my sort of three main takeaways of why I think Showcase is a, a must have. Frankly, there's so much information networking and it's like a mini vacation. It's it's kind of fun to go and hang in another community in Manitoba that maybe you haven't been to or stayed in for a long time. So that piece of it's uh, really, really fun. Um, I think the main takeaway as an artistic director, uh, we all have the same challenge, whether we're planning um, the subscription style uh, concert series events in our community. Um, with our organization, we do one uh, big festival over the course of three days and a lot of, or a handful of other shows during the year and some open mics. And the common challenge I found out uh, and it was so eye-opening to be in a room literally with however many, like 60 people, everyone had the same kind of challenge. How do we engage? How do we build some energy? How do we get our audience to trust us? All of that stuff to be able to go, oh, yeah, you have that problem, us too. And what about our facility? All of those kinds of things to talk to people. I just came away so fulfilled and energized and had a fun time giving a report back to my board and, and acting on things. I refer back to the decks uh, that we got from the presenters uh, all the time. Last year, Inga was uh, fabulous and was Trudy Schroeder. So lots of great content there. Uh, of course, the showcase in the evenings where we get a chance to check out bands, see who we might like to hire uh, is wonderful. And it's a cool format too. It's like 20 minutes of each band enough to sort of snack on them and understand if they're going to fit your audience was really cool and I ended up hiring I think three bands from that so that was really cool uh, and then the late night kind of mixer things presented in a coffee house style uh, was really fun do some networking get a chance to meet some other performers talk with them uh, and the the little mini kind of um, what's the word I'm struggling to find here kind of like a, a market or a convention around bands with booths and some other visual art there. Yeah, the visual art program was also really interesting. I don't want to overlook that. So yeah, if you're considering going to showcase this coming year in Brandon, trust me, do it. You'll have a fabulous time. And uh, when you see me there, if you don't agree, you can uh, kick me in the pants, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that won't happen. So yes, there you go. You should come.